So how did we roll out 5S? And um, when I started at Stryker, they had a 6S program. And basically, somebody in leadership said, okay, well, we don't have a safety program, add you know, the, another S into the system. The, the, the success program had basically deteriorated over time. You know, it got to the point of we had a scoring system. Most people had perfect scores, but yet you, you walk through that area and it's like, oh, my goodness, there's tons of opportunity here. How could they have gotten a perfect score? But a lot of it came down to a, it was just a habit. I mean, people just, they knew they had to do it. They checked it off, uh, just following a routine without actually really getting any benefit out of the system. So we wanted to, to do it a little bit differently. And I was able to, to convince people to go back to more of a true what is 5S about. And we applied it to what we called the shared manufacturing areas. So we did not do this to our office area because at one point, you know, our, um, our 6S program had an office one in, as well. And the idea was that, well, you can't ask operations to do something if the support staff isn't doing it as well. And I'm like, yes, I can. You know, uh, I'm going to define this as shared ma manufacturing space. That if it's a, a space where more than one person uses it, then you need to have standards in place to make it more efficient. And that's what we're starting with. Not to say that we won't at some point get into the, the office area in more individual, you know, office, you know, your desk space and stuff like that. But we defined it as shared space. And this also helped us with, like, our QC people and our material handlers. Because a lot of times they would say, well, you know, we're not shared. You know, this is my own bench. Um, you know, I don't share it with anybody. Granted, you don't, but if you're gone for the day, I'm going to put somebody else in there. You know, so I'm going to take somebody from a different area, you know, one of your other counterparts. So technically, that is a shared area. Okay, so that's how we defined it. We decided to roll out one S at a time. The idea was that go right through them, but you had to pass or get past a, a competency level of the S before you can move on to the next one, okay? So that was our goal, it was to roll out one S at a time. Again, trying to keep the emphasis focused so that people don't lose sight of what we're really trying to do. We created and assigned audit teams that lasted one whole year. So the idea was we didn't want to have a, a whole bunch of different people constantly auditing the same area. We want it to be the same group of people to go through and keep building on what they had already seen and what they were improving on, okay? And again, it goes back to what our old system was. Our old system was more of a random that I got to sign this area to audit. The next time I'm going to audit something different. And you constantly had different people in there. There's no follow through. So this way we kept the same people. And then this audit program that we had, the high level one, was part of the executive steering committee, okay? So it was basically the plant manager staff. This was the HR manager, this was our quality manager, this was our uh, materials manager, all these people, engineering. Each one of them got assigned, you know, uh, an area to audit. And then this is the key. The, the focus of our program is to find action items. It's not to score necessarily an area, even though we have a scoring system. The focus is to find improvements. We want to make this a continuous improvement activity, okay? So, like I said, we had moved into a new building, all right? Um, our old building, we really were quite cramped. Uh, older building had been added on to a few times. We created this nice new facility. And when we moved into the facility, I went through and laid out the facility, how we wanted it to flow, more of a visual factory. And we basically created what we called a, a visual factory um, standards. So and it's this, this booklet, basically, that we created. Um, that basically goes through and defines what are our standards, okay? How do we want the plant to look? And so this was used to help create and set up the plant initially, and this is what we want to be able to audit to and maintain. Now, we, we created this, but this is basically our standard. So we don't really audit to it until we get to standardize. But we wanted this out in front of everybody so that as people were making improvements, if they're going to do something, do it according to the standard and not have to redo it when we get into standardize, okay? So we kept it real simple. Um, there's, there's quite a bit to this document. The idea is that it's a living document that over time that we will add to it and subtract to it depending on, on how the business has moved. We tried to keep it very simple. Um, we did not put a, a whole bunch of, of colors 
I've seen some companies have gone a little bit overboard with lots of different colors. Um, in the back of this, we actually have um, references of where we buy materials, okay, just to make sure that people buy the, the, from the same supplier and get all the same stuff. So this just shows one of the pages, um, which is some of our, our information boards that we've got out in the plant. This is another one that goes into like the bench layout where we've defined heights. So even though we, we don't have you know, safety as one of the S's, that is still part of some of the audits. You know? And these are set up for ergonomics. You know, there's a maximum height that we want these at. Okay? So we've laid them out. Um, we've got a, a visual factory. We've got a nice flow to our materials. All our benches we feed from the back. Operators pull them from the front side. So there's standards that we have set up for this. Now getting into the, the, the 5S, the audit form. Um, this form, just uh, at a high level here, the idea is that we have a list of basically like questions, you know, and, it's, and the idea is, is for the auditor. You know, these are, get people thinking along these lines. And then we've got pictures in the bottom, which are basically some good examples, which are the green check marks. And other ones are, you know, idea or stuff where you know this isn't quite right and should be improved upon. 